Hello. Today we are going to look at the basic principles of the Holter ECG analysis using the BTL CardioPoint Holter Diagnostic System. Each button on this panel represents one module designed for a specific purpose. Let's start with the first step, signal classification. In the templates module, we follow two main objectives, control of automatic diagnostics and partly remove the noise from the signal. All beats from the Holter ECG record are automatically divided into distinct groups based on their shape and ECG classification. In this case, we have 11 templates arranged in order from pathological to normal. Templates containing ventricular extrasystoles are shown first, then supraventricular extrasystole and normal complexes. We can also see the Q template. This group contains all the beats which the program cannot automatically assign to a specific type of morphology. The artifacts template contains complexes distorted by noise. These beats will be automatically excluded from the analysis of the recording. Before getting started, let's take a look at the icons used in BTL Cardio Point Holter. N. Normal beat. B. Bundle branch block beat. S. Super ventricular beat. V. Ventricular beat. Q. Undeterminable beat. X. Artifact. The doctor's task is to look through all the templates and make sure that the program has correctly distributed all the heartbeats. To look over the beats in the template, click on a specific template and navigate beat by beat. You can do this with arrow icons at the bottom of the template, buttons on the navigation panel, or using the corresponding keys on the keyboard. The first template is determined as ventricular premature contractions. 1,650 PVC beats were recorded. It is the 2% of the total number of beats in this recording. To work with a template, we can choose ECG view. Full view. or tiles view, which is the best solution for a large number of beats since it allows us to see several contractions simultaneously. It significantly speeds up the work with the signal. It is also possible to show the signal in full screen, which allows us to see even more complexes at once to speed up the process of halter analysis. In order to change the classification of a specific complex, we can use the corresponding buttons on the navigation panel, icons in the template itself. These change the whole template classification at once, or the corresponding letters on the keyboard. Don't be afraid. If you make a mistake while working with the recording, there is an undo button at your disposal on the navigation panel. This will cancel the last action. We can also use a redo button to restore the undone action. It should be noted that the template indicated as a letter Q should be carefully reviewed since the template may contain diagnostically significant beats that doctors need to determine by themselves. We confirm templates one by one with a mouse or with a space and enter keys on the keyboard. After we went through all the templates, we can move on to the second step. Quick Diagnostics Review Let's start with the Summary Module. Summary module provides a quick overview of potentially important diagnostic values, which are summarized in the table. 
These values produce the examination report and should be carefully reviewed. Histogram Components is linked with a summary table and provides graphic data computed from a selected item in the summary table. We can also find the Trend Component on the screen. You will find the Trend Component several times within the program, and every time the user interface is always the same. This provides a comfortable workflow with BTL Cardio Point Halter. The patient activity row shows the data from the recorder's accelerometer. Blue color indicates that the patient was resting, and pink color indicates that patient was active at that time. On the right side, we have controls to zoom the trend in and out. Let's move to the next module, Events. Events view is very similar to the summary view. The distribution of events in time is highlighted here. We can quickly review and edit events in chronological order and compare them with the heart rate and activity trends. Each bar in this window corresponds to a certain type of event and displays their distribution in time. It is possible to take a snapshot of the trend you're interested in to add it on the report. In the active bar, place the mouse cursor over the triangle icon and click on the revealed camera button. We can also add a description to the snapshot if needed. Now going to the next module, Arrhythmias. This module provides the analysis of all the detected rhythm disturbances in the recording. We can see it in the detail table. For each event, we can inspect its beginning and ending time, duration, average heart rate, and the number of beats within the episode. Any episode can also be carefully considered on the corresponding ECG view, and any adjustments can be made if needed. The next module is ST. ST module allows us to quickly analyze the changes in ST segments, which are presented in tabular form. And in the form of a trend graph, we can also review the ST segment corresponding with the patient's activity and heart rate trends. For detailed measurements of the ECG signal properties, like ST duration, we can use the caliper tool. It is also useful for evaluation of QRS amplitudes or PQ and QT durations. Now let's take a closer look on QT and PQ PR modules. Same as in the ST module, the BTL CardioPoint Halter provides automatic analysis of QT and PQ PR intervals in various forms. Tabular data, scattergrams, histograms, and trend components, along with the heart rate graph and ECG view. The principle of operation is the same as with the ST module. We can also check the accuracy of the automatic diagnostics with the caliper tool. Advanced tools of BTL Cardio Point Halter, such as Point Care, Relief Map, and PSD Graph, offer various visual analysis methods that increase diagnostic confidence and speed up the work, making Halter examinations much easier. We will take a closer look at them in the following videos. For now, let's move on to the Overview module. Here, all the recorded data is shown in a convenient tabular form. Using this table allows us to view and check a wide range of statistics computed over selected time periods, such as hourly, daily, circadian, and circadian daily. Now the last, third step of our analysis, report and printing. 
Here we will set up the final report for our halter examination. In the left window, we can select the pages we want to include in our report. In the right window, we choose the specific parameters that we add on the title page of our report. You can include or exclude any parameter from the report by clicking on the printer icon. In the text box, Medical Findings, you can write a conclusion for your research. We can find a really helpful tool here. It's called Default Conclusion. The tool automatically writes all the key values from the examination into Medical Findings. Once we are satisfied with the report layout, it is possible to see the preview and then print it or save it as a PDF. In order to use the same report settings in the future, we can save our report profile via the Report Context menu. This function will save us a lot of time during further examinations. With this last function, we have covered all the basic steps in the 24 hours Holter ECG analysis. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your work with BTL CardioPoint Holter.